Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing my what's in my everyday makeup stash for the month of September. So if you're new to my channel or if you're new to this series, it's pretty much where I show you guys products that I'm using for one full month. So the purpose of this series is for me to go in my makeup stash and use products that I forgot about, products that are new, products that are old, just so I can actually use the products instead of them just sitting in my collection and collecting dust. So yes, I have quite a few products to share with you guys today. Some of the products are actually products that I purchased recently during the Sephora sale and also um, some products that I've had in my collection that I kind of forgot about that I also want to kind of use up. I do receive PR and I also shop for makeup. So whatever I receive this month, I'm still going to be trying out. So if I do like a first impressions video or if I do, you know, any type of video with me trying out a new product, um, that product will be shared on my channel. So even though it's not in my stash for today, that does not necessarily mean that I'm not going to be trying out different products for this month. But yes, these products are going to be going in rotation. I'm going to be trying out some products I haven't tried out before and also using some products that I haven't used in a very long time. So yes, let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so starting out with the primers, I'm going to be using two primers this month, just kind of going back and forth. Um, and these are the ones that I featured in my Sephora haul. One is by Pretty Vulgar and the other one is by Bobbi Brown. Now this one by Pretty Vulgar is called the Detox and Chill Primer. I did do kind of like a first impression kind of sort of on this primer. It's, you know, on the face right now. So I do have a video up on this whole entire look. If you guys missed the video, I will have it linked down below in the description. But I do wanna get some more use out of this primer and kinda of get my full thoughts on it because it was kind of like a first impression when I tried it out. So we are going to be using this one this month and I will let you guys know my thoughts on this primer next month when I do my favorites and hate it. And I'm also going to be using the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Protection Primer. So I don't think I've tried this out yet. I think I've only used it on my hand when I was hauling it in my Sephora haul, but I don't think I've already put it on the face yet. Um, have I when I went to work? I don't think I have. But yeah, this will be a product that I haven't even shared yet as far as my thoughts. So I'm gonna be trying this out. I wanna see how it, you know, how it wears, how it makes my foundation look. Um, but this will be another product that I will be sharing next month and letting you guys know my thoughts on this product. So those are the two primers that we're gonna be rotating all month long. Now as far as foundation, I do want to use up my e.l.f. Flawless Foundation. This is in the shade Coco. I think this one made it into my Everyday Makeup Sash for last month and it also made it into my favorites video for this month, well last month, but I want to use the rest of this up because this has actually been in my collection for a while. But this has become a holy grail status for me and I did mention this one um, like I said in my favorites video so if you guys missed that video for the month of August I will have that video linked down below but I do want to use the rest of this up simply because it's been in my collection for a while and I feel like I just need to go ahead and use it up so that way you know we can get another one this next foundation is a new foundation and this is by Revlon it's actually what I have on my face right now I did do kind of like a first impression on this as well so I will have that video down below in my description but I want to get more thoughts on this foundation so I want to use it this month I want to use it, you know, when I go to work um, and I just want to see how it wears all day long on the skin. So this will be another product that I may feature next month in my monthly favorites and hate it. All right, so for concealers, we're just going to be rotating between two this month. One is one that I actually want to use up because I'm almost done. And this one actually made it into my Everyday Makeup Stash for last month. Um, but I want to use the rest of this up since it's almost gone. But this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade Cafe. This is the drugstore foundation that literally I go to if anything fails me. I love this foundation. Am I? I have been saying foundation this whole time. But anyway, this is the drugstore concealer that I go to when anything else lets me down. This is honestly holy grail status. I love this concealer, you guys. I think I mentioned this one in my favorite concealers video. Obviously, it's my favorite. But I do want to use the rest of this up since it's almost gone. And the other concealer is actually one that I just purchased. This is a repurchase because I love it so much. This is a concealer by Ulta. This is their liquid full coverage concealer, which is bomb oh my god you guys if you have not tried this concealer 
definitely go ahead and try it out it is I think nine dollars and honestly I feel like it's a good dupe to the Tarte Shape Tape concealer but it's a little bit better than the Tarte Shape Tape so definitely try this out if you guys have not tried it out already it's definitely affordable it's full coverage and it does not crease under the eyes so I had to get another shade well not another shade but another one because I love it so much this is in the shade deep warm all right for setting powders I have three setting powders that we're gonna be using all month one is by La Mer this is the one that I hauled in my Sephora for a haul so I've already tried this out it's just I want to use more of it I want to see if I really really like the product and I also want to see how it wears on the skin all day long so this is gonna be one that we use another one is by pretty vulgar this is another setting powder that I purchased during the sale I went setting powder crazy honestly but um, yeah this is actually the one I have on right now on my face and I am liking this so far this is also another product that I shared in a recent video where I did a first impression on some drugstore products and also high-end products but yeah this is the pretty vulgar translucent setting powder and I just want to use this for the month of September as well as one from the drugstore and it is by Rimmel this is called the stay matte long lasting pressed translucent powder now this is a product that I have been using um, it's just I just want to use more of it and kind of use it up because it's been in my collection for a while so we're gonna be using this one this month this is a powder that I like to use when I go to work because it's easy to apply it's not messy it's a pressed powder so all you do is just swirl your brush in it and go so yeah this will be for my work and then well for when I go to work and then these two will be the ones that I'm having on like in videos or doing like tutorials stuff like that so for all over face powder I'm still gonna be using my Sephora micro smooth baked face compact I cannot get enough of this thing this is my baby I have been using this for a while I have two backups because there was like a rumor going around that these were going to be discontinued but I've actually seen them go in and out of stock online so I don't know if they're you know really going to be discontinued but I want to use this one up because this one's actually almost out so we're going to be using this one up for this month and those, that's the only setting well all over face powder that I'm going to be using now as far as bronzer I'm gonna bring back the bronzer that was my very first bronzer when I started my channel it's really a blush but I use it as a bronzer and that is by Mac cosmetics and it's in the shade Swiss chocolate you guys I have been through this I want to get another one because this one is kind of old but it still works like it still looks really good on the skin and I just want to use possibly use it up before I purchase another one because I have I still have a lot of product in here but this was my very 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 first bronzer that I used on my channel and I am obsessed with this it is so so pretty on dark skin also as a blush as well if you want to use it as a blush but I think it's so pretty as a bronzer now for highlighter I have several highlighters that I want to kind of juggle between the month of September one is by Becca and this is in the shade chocolate geode which is the most beautiful gold highlighter if you have deeper skin this is going to be beautiful on you let me swatch it so you guys can see it it is so pretty and gold and bronzy so this will definitely be one that we're gonna be rotating this month and I also want to dip into my Jackie Ina artist couture bron not bronzers but highlighters so I haven't really been using these lately but since I haven't been using them that is the purpose of this video we're gonna be dipping into these this month all right so for blush I want to use my NARS liquid blush this is one that I purchased during the Sephora sale and I did do a tutorial using this product and I loved it so I want to get more use out of it this month instead of it just sitting there since I just purchased it so I will be using this this is in the shade Dolce Vita all right moving on to the eye products so as far as the brows I'm just gonna start back using my covergirl um, micro define brow pencil simply because I am out of the ones that I have been using which is the one by the balm and also benefit um, which is the benefit precisely in my brow but I have so many of these for backup because they sent me some so I'm just gonna use this this is in the shade soft brown this is actually my favorite drugstore brow pencil which I'm glad that I have some backups because it is my favorite one but I'm just you know just gonna be using this one this month and as far as an eyeliner I like to wear eyeliner when I go to work because I don't wear false lashes and I feel like when I wear eyeliners it makes my lashes look thicker or longer I don't know if that makes sense but with the eyeliner I'm just gonna use the one that I used last month which is the NYX matte liquid eyeliner the tip of it is really really thin this gives you the perfect line on your top lash line 
and it's matte. And even though this is a matte liquid eyeliner, it still blends in really good. Like if you wanna kinda of buff out a shadow with the liner, that's usually what I do when I go to work is I'll put a liner on the top lash line and then at the very end or the very corner of the eye, I'll take a little bit of black eyeshadow and just kinda of buff it into the line and it makes a beautiful, kinda of like a smoky wing. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's like just right. If you guys wanna see like an updated makeup tutorial of how I do my makeup when I go to work, let me know. I think I've done two of them on my channel, but if you guys want to see another one, let me know. I actually do a few things different now, but if you guys want to see, you know, another one on my channel, I'll be more than happy to film another one for you guys. So just go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. And for mascara, I'm going to be taking the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This is one that I, I did not purchase this. This was actually free, but I've really been loving this mascara. I love how it just separates my lashes and it also makes them look longer. This is a good mascara and I'm probably will be purchasing it even though this one was free I kind of want to get another one once this one is out because it's so good so yeah we will be using that all right we're down to eyeshadow palettes and then we have two setting sprays and then we'll be done with the video I'm not gonna mention any lip products because I go through several lip products on a daily so it will be pointless to say I'm gonna use this lip product for the whole month because I don't just stick to one lip product for one full month unless it's like a lip balm or you know something that's like an everyday lip product but I go through several different lip glosses lipsticks so I'm not gonna really mention those in today's video but I have four palettes that I want to mention I know it's kind of a lot but you know I kind of like to dip into different palettes every day so the first one is the pro fusions palette you guys I've already been using this actually some of the products that I shared in today's video I've already been using because I've already put all of these products into my um, my everyday makeup drawer but this palette oh my god you can pick this brand up from Target they have several other palettes but I am obsessed with this palette I'm obsessed with the formula I'm obsessed with how they blend this black is everything you guys it is so so pigmented I'm gonna show you guys you guys see that there's nothing on my finger I'm just gonna lightly place my finger in it lightly look at that look at that pigment it is crazy Z. This next palette is a palette that I haven't even used yet and I've actually purchased it about, it was been a few weeks back, but it's by Dose of Colors and it is the one in collaboration with I Love Side IE. But um, I only swatched it a few times. I haven't really used it. So that is why we are putting it into my makeup stash for this month. But um, if I want to do something colorful or like a pop of teal, this is what I'm going to have on the eyes. Another palette that I want to use this month is the one by Maybelline and that is their Soda Pop palette. I actually did a full review and tutorial on this palette if you guys are interested in seeing that. I will have it down below for you if you, you know, if you missed that video. But I want to get more use out of this palette simply because this is a good everyday palette and it's also a good fall palette. But the colors, the pigmentation, the actual formula of this palette is bomb. So this will be one of those that I will have on my eyes when I'm doing videos. If I'm doing a tutorial, I will dip into this palette. And the very last palette I want to use for this month is the KKW Classic Palette. I have been obsessed with this palette you guys I did not think I would be obsessed with any of the products from KKW Beauty um, this is my first and only purchase from the brand but I am really 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 impressed with this palette but there are several videos where I have these shades on the eyes um, I think it was my Sephora haul and also my uh, Sephora um, recommendations honestly I forgot I honestly forgot but I love the shadows I love how they feel I love how they blend they just are buttery smooth I was not expecting this palette to be as good as it is and they are coming out with another one I think it's called the cherry blossom palette I believe I'm gonna get it all right so those are all of the palettes now we're down to the very last two products which are setting sprays so Too Faced just sent me the hangover setting spray I have never tried this out it's been out for a while but I have never found the time to try this product out this is another product that I did kind of like a first impression on I was pretty much testing out 
drugstore and high-end makeup in that video but um it's already linked down below for you guys if you missed it but i want to use this some more this month i want to see how it really performs on the face as far as you know holding up my makeup and you know just seeing how well this is so it is a primer and setting spray so you can use it um to apply on the face before you apply your makeup and also after i only use this after i didn't use it before but i want to kind of use it both ways and let you guys know my thoughts. And the other spray that I'm gonna be trying out, I have not tried it yet, but this is the one by Morphe. At first, I was not gonna purchase this thing because I don't know, just the idea of this spraying continuously, I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm spraying with hairspray or Pam. I don't know, it's just a mind thing. A lot of people that I watch love this product, so I'm gonna give it a try and see if I like it. If you guys have tried this out, let me know your thoughts. Even the other products that I shared in this video, let me know if you've already tried out anything. I would love to know your thoughts. So let's go ahead and chat down below in the comments. But yes, I think that is all that I have for my everyday makeup stash for the month of September. Again, like I said, if I receive any products through PR or if I go out and shop, at Sephora or Ulta. I will be testing those products out as well. You guys know I love makeup, so it's an ongoing thing. So I think that is all that I have for you guys.